Hello, aviators. My name is Jason Miller, a full-time career flight instructor. On the Finer Points channel, you can join me as I bring you tips and tricks that I've learned from 20 years on the flight line. Hello, aviators. Welcome back to the Finer Points. In this video, we're going to talk about holding with a GPS, right? The two different ways that that can occur with pretty much any GPS unit. It doesn't matter if you're using a six pack airplane or if you're flying with a primary flight display, most aircraft have some kind of GPS unit installed. Garmin 430, 530, 650, 750, you know, usually there's a GPS. And when you fly holds, IFR, using a GPS, there are two ways this will occur. One way is OBS mode, and this is a mode that can be handy for VFR pilots as well, but effectively what this does is turn the next waypoint in front of you into a VOR, or something that you can twist a course around. You can arrive at that waypoint from any predetermined direction. All right, so this is good for VFR pilots if you're flying into an airport you've never been to before, and for IFR pilots, this will occur when your CFI or your designated pilot examiner or air traffic control invents a hold. I have holding instructions, advise ready to copy, right? Now, if the hold is part of your flight plan, that's a different thing. If it occurs, say, as part of a course reversal procedure or as part of a missed approach procedure, then the GPS knows the hold. It will uh, auto sequence you to the hold, it will recommend, in most cases, the proper entry and usually count it down for you, three, two, one. And then until you unsuspend the GPS, it won't auto sequence to the next waypoint. It will just continue holding uh, there as part of your flight plan. All right, so recently I was out with Kristen. She's a relatively new IFR student in these videos. Uh, one side note here, you're going to see us do a zero zero takeoff. This is something I never recommend in reality, but for double eyes out there in the first 10 hours of instrument training, it can be a great way to get your student to be super attentive to the scan and note when the most minor errors are occurring. So in the beginning, I usually introduce a couple of these simulated, of course, and I'm always visual, but you're going to see us do that. And then also for the double eyes, a couple times out here on the flight, you'll see me take control of the airplane. And that is to completely desaturate Kristen so that she can fully understand everything that it is that we're talking about. All right, so there's some tips for the double eyes. Now let's dive in. I told her to put in a direct course to Marysville uh, and we're go I'm going to give her holding instructions so we can learn the two different ways uh, that it works with a GPS starting with OBS mode. Then you can make it up. Just step back to the right a little. Yeah. There you go, like that. There you go, beautiful, Kristen. Am I on center line? You're on the runway. That's I good know. enough. Okay. Rotate 55. Excellent. Did I go straight-ish? You did. There's a little bit of a wind here, so go left to left. 230. Actually, not 230. Just stay on heading. Okay. Fine. Good. We missed the pole, basically, is what I was wondering. Oh, God. That's 1128 to follow. Is, uh, All right. You see me intercepting this course. Notice when you twist your course knob now, the pink line rotates around Marysville. Why don't you just play with that a little bit? Twist your course knob. Not the, not the little one. Yep. Oh, yeah. There you go. Big one. Yeah. No, the little one, not the big one. Watch your pink line there. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's really cool. See what it's doing? Remember yeah. how I was saying you can come into airports yeah. and you can navigate direct to runways? So just twist your pink line now until we're, we're on it. <laughs> there you go. Like that. And then I'll go right. Okay, good. There we go. Okay. And then I'll go right to 240. And hopefully we'll be there. Okay, that's how OBS mode works. That's really cool. And the minute you deselect it, it continues to auto sequence through your flight plan. Not in sight Delta. So, like, if you go back to your flight plan, you'll notice Marysville is not the end of it. There's a whole approach after it. There's right. Dashi, Bonds, Wudo, the runway, all that stuff, right? So, if I'm done holding, sorry, if I'm done holding and I press OBS mode again, it'll just start sequencing to those next fixes. Okay. But as long as I hold OBS mode, it just turns Marysville into a big VOR. Okay. <laughs> Basically, it, yeah. that's all it did, right? Yeah, that's really cool. Okay, cool. So I have holding instructions. Advise ready to copy. I'm not ready to copy. Okay. Wait. Oh no, I brought my notepad and no pen. Yes. I stole your pen. Okay. You can have it back. I know you did. <laughs> Okay, so here you're going to see us on a missed approach from McClellan. Now, the GPS has the missed approach procedure as part of the flight plan, and this is true on 
RNAV GPS approaches, but it's also true on say an ILS or VOR approach if you have the GPS providing advisory services, right? With the approach procedure, you know, in the background. It is perfectly legal to get to the missed approach point, execute the missed approach and go back to that GPS course uh, for guidance, even if it's a VHF type of instrument approach. This is the other way to hold on a GPS. It's in your flight plan because it's part of the procedure. It's all drawn in there. The GPS knows exactly what the hold is. We didn't have to invent it or use OBS mode or anything like that, right? And it even knows how you're approaching the hold, so it's showing you what kind of entry it thinks you, would, you should do. All right, aviators, I hope that was helpful. That's all for this video. Um, remember that I show up every Friday at 12 p.m. Pacific for patrons. We do something called TFP office hours. We spend a half hour or an hour together. Sometimes DPEs show up. We have great conversations. If you're looking for bonus content, you'd like to get personal flight instruction once per week uh, and a whole lot more at Patreon. It's a great way to support this channel and the podcast. Check that out at patreon.com slash learn TFP. Also remember, when you renew your AOPA membership, you should select pilot protection services. Huge thanks to Bose and to you guys. Please leave a comment below, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the little alert bell so you actually get notified of uploads. But most importantly, until I see you again, be safe and fly your best.